Hi, hello, it is I, Aba, Abelina Tumor, or however you want to pronounce my name, I honestly don't care, Abba, Ava, Eva, Abalina, Abalena, whatever, I grew up in Mexico, so my name pronunciation and enunciation has been different, um, depending on whoever said it, English or in Spanish, so I truly don't have a preferred method of you saying it. I just say Ava, you can say Ava as well. You can say Avalina, Avalina. I don't really care too much. But yeah, there's that. Um, this is part two of my little Dead Girl Couture speed paint. Um, this is the coloring process because the video was too long as it was before. Or to be all in all encompassing, so I had to split it. Because it was already, the line art was already too long. It was going to be like 20 minutes long. I said this in the last one already, but here I am saying it again. Also, this is when I figured out how to um, actually use a plaid image. Um, um, what do they call these? What's the word? Material. There we go. Material and Clip Studio. Also, I hope that my voice isn't cutting off as often as it was. My husband has this weird sound gate on his, like, microphone to where, like, really loud noises, if it's too loud and quite far away, won't be picked up by his mic. I think I have a slightly more softer tone than him, and I also don't want to be screaming in the middle of the fucking night, because it is currently 4.22 a.m. So yeah, there's that. But this was my most int intricate drawing to date, with all the clothes, nearly completely full body art, and I had different layers that I had to use for my, um, what's the, oh jeez, there's a yawn, uh, there's, there was a yawn, but, um, different layering process I had to do for the, um, plaid. Because I didn't want the plaid to be all one exact, um, what's the word? Size. So I had to figure out the sizing. I also figured out this cool new selection pen. Like, holy shit, what is this? And it can delete and erase and, like, select everything so much more easier. I was like, damn, what the fuck? How how I been living without this for, for as long as I have? Include... But that's why you should probably read in like, um, what's the word? I forget. Practice? Yeah, I think that's the word I'm thinking of. Practice your skills. And then here I go. Coloring it all in. And it was recently fun. It took a lot, a lot of patience to color this. Even though, like, it doesn't look like that much, it, um... It annoyed the fuck out of me having to shade the shit out of this. And then I had to color her skin tone. They have very, very, very um dark brown hair. So I was having trouble trying to color in their hair eventually. The clothes was a little bit more easy than um their skin tone and their hair. But meh. I did the best I could. This was this is actually the drawing that made me so angry where I was like, I'm not going to go and bother drawing full bodies anymore because um, they turn out like shit. <sighs> Look, there goes another yawn. Um, sorry if you don't like me swearing, this is my channel, I make the rules, I am a 22 year old adult and I hot. so uh, sorry if you don't like that, but uh, I, I will swear, sorry. Um, I don't care about monetization. I think I've said this before in previous videos, but it's been a while. Because I've taken some breaks from uploading because I just procrastinate too much sometimes. So, there is me again saying it all over again. So. Oh, God damn. Damn. There I am again yawning. I probably need water. Maybe if I drink some water after I'm done with this voiceover, I will be a little bit better. But yeah, the line art, like I said, immaculate almost. Basically immaculate with how it's turning out. 
But my coloring, this is the drawing that pushed me over to edge where I'm like, I am not going to draw any more near full body or full body drawings until I can get my stupid face down because I need to practice my animu skills better and get my faces down on my drawings. So this was that video. Um, the drawing overall was fun. It took way too long. It was a lot of trial and error with the shading and everything. But yeah, I was watching Adventure Time as I was drawing this. And sometimes there are some very <laughs> interesting parts that I really wanted to watch. So if you s there's a few like breaks, that's the reason why I was most likely watching Adventure Time. And then it does just it got real. This was like around the time Marceline was introduced, and I like Marceline. They were all right. They are still cute. I don't, I'm not a big vampire fan, but I still thought they were a nice character. And then eventually, when you find out the backstory of the Snow, the Ice King, not the Snow, the Ice King, and how Marceline and them basically knew each other like way back when, it's like damn. And honestly, if you, <laughs> Adventure Time is quite a dark show with like the Great Mushroom War. It's like, holy shit. Like, damn. That's literally what our civilization would be if we continued down this era. That's why you guys should probably support small owned businesses. If I didn't put any photos in the last one, I will definitely do it here again. I probably will do it here again too. Just a few, probably not as long as the last one because, um, uh, I don't think these videos will be seen in, um, separately. If one person sees this video, I'll probably, like, tell you guys go watch the other one, which I'm telling you right now, if you want to watch all these things in chronological order, go watch part one first, because this is part two, and this is just me coloring. Unless you don't care to see the line art process, then, like, in the sketch process, then, all right, you do you. You are your own person. You can choose what and what you do not want to do. But um, I like showing my sketch and line art process because not that many people actually show it. They usually just show the line art process and not the sketch. Or not even the line art process. They're usually done and they're just coloring now. So I like showing it just that way people can see like, hey, it doesn't look pretty literally from the start. Even though, like, my logical brain knows that it doesn't look that good from the start. But I just think it's so effortless. I'm like, damn, they really did that with the line art. And then if you would actually see how long and tedious and horrible the sketching process and then the cleanup process and then, like, the final, final draft of you before you start line arting looks like you probably be, like, realize, like, oh, I, um... It's actually a lot harder than what it thinks. And I shouldn't probably be rushing this. As I was doing for the longest time. I was rushing the sketch and line art process. And it wasn't turning out that great. So now I try my best to be a little bit more um, diligent. And give more time into my sketch and line art phase. Alright, here I am. Now, trying to shade. Shade, shade, shade. And did some nice make 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 ups makes ups makeup on the face and shading i try my best to be a little bit more precise with the shading instead of just like drawing it everywhere and every <laughs> drawing it everywhere for it and then also this is i think this is also when i realized i fucking hate color burn fuck color burn i gave up on trying to use color burn as a shading method and so I decided, you know what, let's use what most people use to shade, which is a multiply layer. Most people use multiply layers for shading. And I did eventually keep, like, um, color burn, but more minimal. And then also um, multiply. Then I added my highlights, which made everything pop a lot better with the frilly frills frills. It made everything look super nice. I really, really liked it how it turned up um the coloring on her body though i could have probably done a lot better when it came to it but i do like the eyes um i 
Their eyes do look a little bit dead though, not gonna lie. But <laughs> there's only so much I can do. Uh, well, at least I could do at the point in time of me making this video. So if I didn't say the date of when I'm recording all these voiceovers, it is currently October 23rd, 2020. It'll probably be December by the time I post this one, or mid-November, I actually don't know. It's going to be some time, but you can schedule your videos ahead of time on the YouTubes. And so yeah, there's that. We are quite close to the end of the video. And like I said, I will most likely place at the end um, some photos for the website. If not, it'll be in the last one. Just for you guys can see the alternative fashion they, you, they have and they carry. Very pretty. I like it a lot. I like the home stuff just because I... <laughs> uh i have a lot of clothes already so i would rather decorate my house a lot better so they have blankets pillows and all this nice cool shit. anyway um very very close to the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it hope it was nice to watch like if you liked it unlike if you didn't i could care less really not that big of a deal um comment any tips tricks or anything for coloring even though i'm i've gotten a lot more decent but i, I digress um, sub if you want. Perfectly fine. If you like these speed paints, go ahead. Hope it was enjoyable. Hope I my voice isn't that annoying to listen to. And I don't. I, I talk about whatever I want. But if you have any topics, go ahead and recommend. I, 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 I could try to do some homework. It would be more interesting than my silly little voiceovers. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's about it. Um, bye.